in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to record and edit your 4K screen with Camtasia. Now for me I'm obviously using Camtasia already to record this tutorial but I will use Cyberlink PowerDirector screen recorder to actually show you the first part of the sentence. Okay so the first thing you need to do is just open up your Camtasia recorder and you can select full screen just keep an eye out for the edges and make sure it's highlighting your full screen or you can just click on custom and it should open this uh, section for you to input the resolution so make sure you unlock this and then enter the 4k resolution size which is 3840 by 2160 And once you've entered the resolution for 4K, just simply hit the lock again, and then you can start recording. Once you have your recording completed, you should have your file. So just open up the file in Camtasia Studio. And then just go to the very top and click on the drop down, then select project settings. And then select the drop down again and click on custom and then just simply input the custom dimensions for 4k so the width is 3840 which can also be 4096 and then the height at 2160 you can select your frame rate and then click apply now you can see this is a little bit smaller on your canvas but just simply drag it all the way out and when you touch the corners it should highlight to let you know now I would definitely recommend you do this from the very beginning when you first import your file you don't want to start chopping and changing um, your video on your timeline and then deciding to basically change the project settings the reason why is because if you chop and change your video you'll have to go change the project settings for each individual cut that you make on the timeline i usually always put in a lot of different settings at the very beginning uh, it just makes things a lot easier so assuming you've now completed your edit and you need to render just go to share click on local file and it should automatically select the custom production settings if it doesn't then hit the drop down and select it then hit next and then choose the extension that you would like your video file to be exported with so usually this is going to be mp4 hit next and you have some more settings here you can go into size just to confirm one more time and then hit next again and next and for this I'm just going to call it demo and I'm going to render it to my desktop and then hit finish So as you can see the quality of the video suits the 4K recording that I made and this is handy because it now looks crisp and clear to suit your um, monitor or screen or whatever you have that's 4K. And yeah that's pretty much everything for this video. If you have any questions at all please make sure to leave it down in the comment section below and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Anyway thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.